uh, Xbox 360, I'd argue probably, I would say probably the best system ever. And they are closing down the marketplace for that. So you're no longer able to buy digital copies of Xbox games. You still have access to the ones you already bought. And you can, of course, still buy physical if you can find them, but no more digital copies. Uh, let's talk about some of our mm. favorite games from the 360. First of all, as we say farewell to that marketplace. Aaron, let's start with you, man. What were some of your favorites? I still remember the first time I fired up an Xbox 360. It was my um, second Xbox console. I did have the original, but mm-hmm. the I, I was sitting in my mate's house and we put on this this game, Gears of War, oh. and it was just this <laughs> just awesome cover based <laughs> fighter. You know, just just the game, and then yeah. Um, yeah, it was this cover based fighter. You popped out, you, you shot things. You had that ripping chainsaw. The enemies seemed real, and on top of that, like we were listening to heavy metal in the background too. So it was just mm-hmm. it was a perfect atmosphere, and it's like core memory, <laughs> un- like unlocked in my head. That was my first experience with a with an Xbox three hundred and sixty, and then from there I went home, like saved up my my cash bought my own and then the rest is just i had a massive library of games and it's just yeah gears of war has always been very special in my heart because of that like i got number two and smash number two and then number three like with don santiago's like demise at the end of it and then number two where he found his like just the storytelling in that game was so great so yeah it was definitely one of the games that i I geeked out over to start with gears of war and it all came from the 360 so to hear about the marketplace shutting down and, and all that. It's like the end of an era, you know? It's, it's a sad sort of time. Yeah. It's a good time to reflect on guys? games, though. For me, like, uh, uh, Oblivion was... Oblivion and Call of Duty 2 were two <sighs> games that I bought yeah. with launch. And Oblivion was, like, the mm, first zombies. time we were like, this story is so good that it's better than anything I'm watching movie or TV-wide. And it was the mm. first game where I bought expansions for. And the expansions were incredible, where they, you actually became a god by accident, and essentially. And uh, it was it was so well done. And then, yeah, Call of Duty would spend, I mean, no joke, an hour on the single multiplayer map where everybody's sniping each other so nobody made a move. And as soon as somebody sneezed, yes. you just heard the ring of fire everywhere and just that guy was gone. <laughs> uh, yep. Dedication to such a great game. Uh, it was it was a hell of a console. Uh, Squeaks, any highlights for you? I know you were a Gears fan as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got a bunch of Gears merchandise right behind me. Mm. Uh, I would say my game is when I think of a 360 is going to be Fable 2. And oh. uh, yeah, only because I was talking so much garbage on the Fable series that I wouldn't give it a shot. But <laughs> then it was Joey, you know, RIP yeah. to him on this podcast. Uh, but uh, he talked me into it and I was like, oh my gosh, what the heck was I even thinking? This game is phenomenal. Um, yeah. And I just like the way that it, to, if I remember me personally, it was probably one of my first games ever where you were playing those games where your choices matter. And of course, yeah. with that one, the more you know, evil things you do in the image, your image will change and compared to how many good things you're doing. Uh, so, yeah, I think honestly, it gets me really pumped up to hear about uh, these talks about Fable 3. So um, mm. not yeah, even Fable 3. Fable 3 is already out. There's they already made Fable oh, 3 a long time ago. Fable 4. OK, they're so rebooting four. the entire yeah. the next Fable. Yeah. 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 OK, you got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Yeah, I loved Fable 2 as well. Just the the way that your character would change to the minutest little things. Like I'd, I would always do something, like make a choice in Fable, and then I'd look at my character's face and I'd be like, why are my eyes black now? What did I do wrong? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Are you going like, oh, I've got that scar now from when I got hit by the guards. And just Yeah, that, that change, that that was just new for its time, wasn't it? It was one of the first times yeah. I saw it. Came out. It was really good. Um, I think it'd be remiss of us not to mention, obviously, Halo 3 when we're talking yeah. about Xbox yeah, 360. Like, I think we've all had those, like, you guys would have done LAN parties and things like that oh, before yeah. the the advent of, you know, Wi-Fi gaming. That's just also absolute core memory, you know. Hearing someone scream from the opposite side of the room because you've just <laughs> got them on, like, Beaver Creek is just, yeah, all locked down with shotguns and swords. It's just so much, like, vibe and energy from Halo. It's just so good. Yeah, yeah. I loved it. It's probably to date my my favorite console of all time. Yeah, it is mine too. The longevity, the quality of it. There are a couple games mm-hmm. that I still play off and on today that were from that were launched on that one. Grand Theft Auto Five, Skyrim, both launched on that system. Amazingly, yeah, crazy. Um, and yeah. some of those Assassin's Creed still hold up very well. Bringing up like Beaver Creek and stuff like that. Was it the system that brought us that Machina? I think it's called. That genre of like television yeah, where like, the big... Red vs. Blue is what I'm thinking of. It's, yes. It's... Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rooster yeah. Teeth, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Rooster Teeth. It was a revolutionary yeah. system. <laughs> and I had the attachment that made it Wi Fi connected and the removable mm-hmm. hard drives. <laughs> It was a hell of a good yeah. system. <laughs> the only bad thing about it, did you guys ever experience the Red Ring of Death in the a early times. iterations? 
Yeah, yeah. I learned not to put my console on a towel. Like I used to sit it on the on the mantle, yeah. and sit it on a. It's like that ain't happening no more. But you know, yeah. as the systems got more developed, that that was something that was ironed out. But yeah, just a really great sort of episode of our gaming lives. That just yeah. yeah. On that, I used RIP to work marketplace. At the, I know. Uh, last bit for that is I used to work at Toys R Us doing their video game stuff, and I one eight hundred four Xbox would call them all the time. Oh, I had this. My mm. I just bought an Xbox and it doesn't work. Yeah, all right. I mean, no, 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 no. Re- Rendering to death. What's your address? Okay, yeah, da, 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 I mean, you got so good at it because it was such a problem. But they were really good about the replacements. I got to give them at least that. Um, yeah. And then there were the yeah. few people that were like, "I need my Xbox to get the rings of death so I can replace it because the tray stopped working or something like that." And yeah. Like, well, mm-hmm. you wrap it in a towel <laughs> and that'll do it. <laughs> yeah, you didn't hear it from me, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, man. What a what a badass. 